So, this has just become the first video on my YouTube channel. Come along. This is just gonna be like very raw clips and like mm, days in my life, traveling around. So I move quite a lot. My life is a bit messy. My life is a bit exciting. And it's just like a diary, honestly. I keep a diary, an everyday diary since 2019. So this will just become the video version of it. Come along. <laughs> And because this is gonna be as real as one can be because honestly i've been watching a lot of youtube videos over the years i feel like, like i've been consuming youtube ever since i was 15 years old and i was just like this just has become so fake a lot of the same thing just showing over and over and over again i'm like this is just so boring so we're changing that we're gonna get some grapes now I got some grapes yesterday. I think I'm gonna eat some of these before I make lunch. Or while I make lunch, because I'm hungry. There's so many studies on how like grapes are very good for your skin, etc. But sometimes they upset my stomach. I love grapes. I'm just so upset that they upset my stomach. How bad is it to eat fruit if you haven't washed it? It's really bad. It's really disgusting if you think about it. There's even rats in the supermarket. But you know when you're just so hungry that you go in the supermarket and you just want to keep on eating it? That's what I did yesterday. I'm not very proud of it either. But On another note, in Spain we have this tradition where New Year's Eve Counting down the time and then kissing someone. Our tradition is basically eating 12 grapes in the last 12 seconds before midnight. And yeah, if you think about it, they're huge. Kids don't usually do it or they do like half of it. Because how are you supposed to have like 12 of these in your mouth and like swallow them and count and then clap and then... Uh, yeah, it's really funny. I always do it with my family and then my cousins and I started laughing just because of the situation. Facts about Spain. And this is a turning camera. I'm gonna try this. <clears throat> just got out of the house. I'm gonna go to the museum, which I'm super excited about. And... So Art Gallery of New South Wales. It first opened its doors in 1871 and it was initially used for exhibitions where local artists could showcase their work yearly. In 1973, the Gallery of Aboriginal and Melanesian Art opened with a dedicated building to showcase these works. The whole museum is a multicultural environment filled with creative pieces. Not only it was constructed and designed by people from different backgrounds, but it also presents artists from all over the world. Some of my favorite pieces included the following. It was a private class. I think it was students from university. And the teacher was explaining each painting, so I jumped for a little bit.
stayed in this room for a little bit to observe these two ladies sitting down. They were talking about the coffee they had had in the morning and about their friends. Honestly, it was a very day-to-day -day conversation, but to me, it became a very small entertaining part of my day. Not only did I see the paintings and arts on the walls, I also observed people who, like me, had come to the gallery to spend their afternoon. There was people from all over the world, some were locals, some tourists, but all connected by the beautiful paintings, all architecture and past history.